Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can update your Minecraft server from 1.12.2 to 1.13 and later versions onwards. So then let's get started. So there's a good, so it's quite a simple video but there's some good uh, practices before you actually go ahead and update your server what I'm going to show you to do. So first of all we're going to stop the server just like that and there we go. Now as you can see here, so I'm refresh page but this is the home server and it's 1.12.2. Now the first thing I want you to do is make a folder on your desktop, call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call mine backup uh, MC server, just like that. Now I'm going to copy and paste the entire server into this file, so I have a duplicate of this server, as you can see here. Now this will also work if you're, let's say you're, you're running on a server host, uh, connect using uh, FileZilla, as you can see up here what I use, connect to server hosts. Download your entire server onto your desktop before you update what is a good practice so you have a secure save off the server and if anything ever goes wrong you actually loads of loads of your redstone creations or you know you will just not happy with updating you can um, you have a backup uh, absolutely you know safe on your PC so if sync goes completely wrong you can just delete the old delete the new version and just paste the backup straight back into your server so it is very very good common practice to keep a backup of your server just like this when you're updating so i've got it updated so there we go so that that's a backup and now i'm going to rename this file to the new version so so just just to help me uh, recognize that it's the updated version as you can see there now i'm going to delete the old server.jar file and we're going to go to minecraft.net so this is the official page of Minecraft. So I'm, I'm going to click the new download button. So just come down to download and then uh, click on the green bit of writing Minecraft underscore server dot one dot 13 dot jar. Now on Chrome, it will say this can risk your computer. It's not going to risk your computer. You're downloading the jar file from the official Minecraft website, what is ran by Microsoft now. So just keep that in mind. So don't be worried. So right, we've accepted it and now we're going to just drag and drop the server.jar into the server. Now I'm just going to quickly refresh that page so it organizes itself. <laughs> now there's two ways of starting up your server. Some of you might use a run.bat file or others might just double click on the jar file just like that. But if you're clicking on the jar file, you don't need to worry about this bit. But if you're using a run.bat file, you've got to make sure your server dot jar name is exactly matching in the run dot bat file. So as you see here, server dot jar and the server dot jar file is actually the same. Uh, capitals don't matter, but just for the sense of the video, I'm just going to change that, and then we're going to save that, and now we're ready to restart the server. And here we go. So it's going to take a few seconds to get loaded. There we go. So it is regenerating the world or updating the world, you could say. So zero zero zero, and then it's going to start pasting in. There we go, and it'll, it'll take a few seconds, but we're just going to let it load up. There we go, it's done. Now what I'm going to just do is I'm just going to stop it and run it again, just to make sure. And there we go. Now this isn't required. It's just a thing that I've always done for the last four years of doing Minecraft server stuff. I've always just did a double restart, and as you see, the world loaded up a lot quicker this time. So now when we refresh Minecraft, we're in the latest version. So we're going to join the server. And here we go. There we go. So we're in the new world. So first of all, I'm just going to set the time to zero. And I'm going to also opt myself so I can go into creative. Now let's say you've been on your server for quite a while. You've been doing lots of builds. Now when you update to a brand new version, uh, you want to actually know how to um, well you might you might not realize that your biomes uh, are still the same they're not going to update automatically because you actually need to go and find new biomes as you see here none of the new uh, under the ocean stuff is uh, new a little bit of lag there but so yeah none of it's new but if we actually go a bit further as you can see it's starting to generate in now so as you see there you've got your new uh, new stuff underground in the ocean like the new ravines and stuff as you can see so yeah so that, that's all together now one one thing to keep in mind that is when you update you can't go back now that's why you want to make it the backup just in case so then thank you for watching make sure to subscribe like favorite please go and follow me on twitter and if you have any suggestions for videos please leave a comment down below as usual thank you for watching goodbye